Hello, I'm audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. Okay, so in this session, we will be talking about the IoT in healthcare domain. So uh, what kind of different applications we can create uh, using IoT sensors or IoT development board in the healthcare section. So uh, once we talk about healthcare, it is a very vast area or a vast sector. So uh, if we specifically look at only the hospitals or only the uh, device manufacturers or only medicine manufacturers so there are different different types of uh, uh, automations which is in place in these areas so, so once we talk about hospitals so uh, the nowadays modern hospitals are equipped with various sensors and uh, uh, means the their devices are equipped with various sensors which can collect real time data from that patient so uh, now these this kind of a data is uh, made available for researchers in the field of medicine for uh, diagnostic or for creating of some kind of a solution where their uh, processes can be improved or uh, any treatment process can be expedited in a such a manner that it can have a better results or it can have uh, accuracy in detections. So uh, IoT with machine learning in this field is very popular as uh, because of this COVID pandemic, uh, we all know that various healthcare applications were developed. So these healthcare applications are mainly focused on machine learning approach to get the, the, to uh, process the data. But to process the data, we required that data and that data needs to be precisely acquired. So uh, the, uh, this data can be acquired by small sensors which can be embedded on these devices. Now, for example, if you, if you visit uh, uh, any hospital for this research purpose, then you can see on the ICU bed, there are different uh, equipments are there, ECG or respiratory systems or uh, any uh, uh, any kind of the uh, what we can say sensors or uh, or any kind of uh, devices are there so there are sw small sensors which are collecting that information and putting that information on a storage uh, maybe uh, with that uh, hospital's uh, uh, data center only and then that data is made available with the application so i have recently visited one of the super specialty hospital near to my uh, home for uh, uh, collecting some information about uh, latest mri scan machine what they are having so that mri scan machine uh, can obviously in the medical terms whatever they want uh, uh, in advancement that, that mri machine is having that thing uh, because i'm not the uh, medical savvy person so excuse me if i uh, uh, pronounce any things wrongly uh, but uh, uh, my intention was to see how exactly this mri machine is communicating on the network because uh, this is the first time that mri machine is directly online and uh, that image uh, analyzers I mean uh, the technicians who are sitting they can analyze that image online as well even the doctor can see the process of getting the images so previously I don't think so any machine was having that if if any machine was having it uh, I don't know about it but uh, that technician assured me that this is the first time what we are seeing so uh, 
so that time that machine was using some iot protocols to communicate on the network definitely uh, those are related with mqtt coc then the other uh, encrypted protocol uh, m2m communication definitely they everything was there but the beautiful thing about that is that that machine is collecting that sources means collecting that information and putting it on the network now uh, don't think about the network security right now we'll talk about it uh, later on but uh, even they they thought about the security so they limited their uh, transmission to only a uh, hospital server so uh, by that time live diagnostics or live uh, imaging doctors can see so there are some kind of uh, uh, events was happened uh, in the past that uh, because of the faulty machine mri scan was not done properly and uh, the healthy person got diagnosed with the very severe kind of a uh, diseases or something so th those kind of a cases was happened Be why because of the faulty machines so this machine is equipped with that too uh, it can detect any fault uh, or any kind of a, uh, any malfunctioning in that and can report it similarly when we visit to any automated site on a, on a medicine manufacturers point so these medicine manufacturers are having their clean room to assemble uh, 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 these uh, medicines uh, assembled means what the medicine will be going for the packing then the, that is the dust free environment and everything so all the uh, precautions they are taking up so the cleanliness of that detecting whether that packaging is proper or not whether that package is tiered from one end that is having a proper seal on it that is having a proper adherence on it or uh, that degradable uh, what we can say material is properly filled or not then again the quality check and everything so everywhere these iot devices are working now talking about the only focused on the healthcare media i'm talking about only the hospitals then uh, we can have patient monitoring systems so these patient monitoring systems as well connected to the network and uh, because of those small sensors uh, we can able to collect a lot of information and uh, uh, because of this covid again uh, there are applications which can detect whether that person will have a covid or not or kind of a respiratory devices kind of a sars kind of a devices or not by examining the past data again feeding into the machine learning only now why i'm always uh, taking machine learning and attaching to iot because uh, that is the main feed uh, means the uh, whatever the data we are collecting through devices that needs to be analyzed that needs to be carried further for some kind of a use and uh, machine learning is very good uh, source for it so we can collect the data we can create a data set we can upload that data set and others can develop model out of it so uh, today's our agenda is that we will be creating a some uh, health monitoring system as kind of uh, like whatever the sensors we are having with us and uh, we'll try to uh, get some data uh, from a uh, a patient's uh, body and uh, will try to uh, see that data uh, maybe not online but on the device so what we can do is i'm having a pulse sensor with me so i'll be interfacing that pulse sensor with a node mcu and uh, will try to capture uh, the heartbeat rate and pulse ratio uh, with that pulse sensor and see how accurate it is uh, even i'm having a, a oximeter with me uh, so we can compare that data with the oximeter so the oximeter what is already produced which is a proven oximeter and the one what i'm having and the pulse sensor what i'm having it is uh, uh two or three years old and and it is being used very uh frequently so i don't know how how the accuracy will it get but still we can create some kind of a solution out of it let just give me a two minutes i'll just bring my oximeter so we can compare it Okay, I'll just turn on my camera so everyone can see. Okay, 
so this is what the pulse sensor i'm having so this is a very generic pulse sensor which can collect the pulse and uh, we need to tune its accuracy because it is not having any potentiometer over here uh, to adjust its sensitivity or to adjust any kind of a knobs on it but still uh, we are having a very uh, what we can say sophisticated uh, uh, chip level assembly over here as uh, we are having a one signal diode so it this is a light emitting sensor uh, which will uh, which will emit the light which eventually uh, penetrate our skin and get holes on the blood and depending upon the cycle it is going to uh, collect the information then uh, then we are having a different ICs over here and the, and the beauty of this pulse sensor is it is having its own small microcontroller to uh, adjust its accuracy so it is automatically adjusting its accuracy so how exactly this is doing uh, I'll, I'll let you know in short and this is the original oximeter what we see and even if the, we can see the functionality uh, if we just click on this and if you see uh, there is again a light sensor which is emitting a light and which will be penetrating from through skin so that's the same uh, mechanism is here only the thing is uh, this pulse sensor is using another uh, uh, or the oximeter is using another pulse sensor and uh, uh, sensing activity here maybe a max uh, 600 it is using the max 600 i'm having but uh, that is not uh, soldered with the buck strip so i need to solder it again and i need to check it so instead of that uh, i'll be using this small pulse sensor now what we will be doing is we will be taking up the pulse sensor interfacing it with node mcu will interface a small uh, uh, display device over here and will try to display my pulse on the uh, device so for this uh, will require of course will require node mcu so i will borrow a node mcu from here so this is the node mcu now uh, i'll just make the wires okay as we can see here the there are no female connectors so these are the male connectors i'll be putting the other cables to it as this is the analog sensor so it will have uh, analog input and analog output so we need to place its signal cable to the analog in or the analog gpio pin of the node mcu now why i'm using a node mcu because later on if you wanted to transmit the data on the cloud we can use a uh, node mcu for that uh, if we use any other development board which is not having a uh, Wi-Fi connectivity or any chipset which can communicate on a network, then we need to add that ESP8266 chipset additionally to collect that information uh, on a remote server. So instead of that, we can use Node MCU development board. So it will save our time and of course the extra sensor or the extra module, not the exactly a sensor, but the module. So here uh, we'll have uh, as s then plus and minus of course s will go to our uh, analog uh, pin as node mcu is the digital uh, development board it is having only one analog pin so if you wanted to interface multiple analog sensors with the node mcu we need to have a 16-bit multiplexer so this is the multiplexer uh in the previous session i forgot to uh, show you this multiplexer so this is a 16 bit of uh, 16 uh, analog uh, pin multiplexer so it can multiplex or it can multiply uh, your uh, ability so the only one analog pin can be extended to the 16 analog pin so 16 sensors or the 16 insert uh, inputs can be obtained through this multiplexer even this is only a 16 multiplexer you can have 32 you can have uh, i think 48 uh, 
analog multiplexer but that is uh, not required uh, 16 is way uh, uh, big number for the analog sensor because nowadays uh, analog sensors are very rarely used uh, these sensors are now replaced with the digital sensors like uh, this pulse sensor is replaced with the uh, mx sensor which is uh, the digital sensor now i'll be interfacing this Right, is this to go to D? Oh, sorry, A0, as this is the analog sensor or analog pin in. Then, middle is positive, middle one is what? It will go to three. And then it will go to ground. Just near to it. Then we'll have our I2C display. We'll interface the I2C in display again ground to ground vcc to 3.3 volt again i need to find one more yeah here it is so around then i can have vcc as pink we'll go to 3.3 then i'll be having scl which will go to d1 Just a minute, I'll just find it out where I have defined my SCL. SCL I have defined to D1. And the last one is to D2. So my connection is done. Let me pull up this. Program.
to here i'll just interface it with my node mcu let me share my screen Now here in this cage, I'm not, uh, sorry, I've touched it. So, so in this case, uh, uh, in sketch, I'm not defining any SSD or SSID or password over here because right now I'm not using any uh, cloud model. Uh, maybe it can be a size or uh, thing speed. So I'm not having any API to put into a token. So I'm leaving it as it is. So what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, taking up a raw feed and uh, uh, once the pulse is generated that pulse will be uploaded to the uh, display directly okay so here is my code uploaded so let me reset it again now here is our sensor working and here is a display so it is not getting a display properly it's supposed to get the data lines nothing maybe a bad connection maybe i'll try to reverse it on my uh, reset pin to minus one to minus zero not the minus zero only a zero So it's 128 by 64 pixel yes correct it is i'll again upload it I'll change the display. Maybe a minus one will help in this case.
no it is not uh, properly taking it maybe here if i can see anything Maybe something wrong with the code. I'll just recheck with the another one to find it out uh, the proper one. I'll just upload it to Node MCU. Yes, now it is working. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just take my camera to here so we can see it properly. Yes. Now if you can see, there are no BPM as I have not touched the sensor yet. Here is a sensor and I have not touched it yet. So let's find out whether it is taking the readings properly or not. Okay, something happens. Now, if you can see the graph, it is changing, but uh, the number is not changing. So maybe I'm holding it not properly. Maybe if we can see in our Arduino Uno whether there it is having any display. It is on. 96 or this is an error of the com port. Uh, maybe I, what I'll do is I'll just reset it. is taking something but it is not reading it properly i 
And maybe since it is faulty. If it is not reading it, it is showing some movement, but it is not reading it properly. So maybe the sensor is faulty, some wires are loose or something. Yeah, wires are very tight and it is good. Okay, maybe I need to uh, change my sensor. So right now I'm not handy with the extra Apple sensor. It is there in my stock. So I need to go to office and need to pitch it up. So what I'll do is I'll uh, uh, show this Apple sensor on tomorrow's session. So let's move to the another uh, healthcare applications what we have already developed it. So I wanted to showcase this with you all. So uh, what we done is uh, uh, we have created a variable device. So let me pull up the images of it. Oh, there it is. Yes. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm not having this variable device right now with me as it is in uh, testing. And I have already given it to my, one of my uh, uh, tester to test it but what we uh, develop is uh, we develop on a variable device uh, which looks the exactly the same it can be a watch or it can be uh, your uh, a device where uh, uh, we have some just a moment here you can see it properly so where we we have embedded a camera the camera uh, the same camera what you uh, saw on uh, ESP cam 32 that is the same camera of a 2MP, 2 megapixel. Then we have added a LED. Then the display, what we shown to you, it is a 1.3 inch of a display. Now, what this variable device is doing, this variable device is responsible to uh, communicate with the cloud for detecting various skin diseases. So on this, uh, on this device, uh, we have a camera where we can click the image or uh, it is uh, uploaded on a cloud. So we are having a, both the op your options. One, we can directly take a live uh, footage or a live uh, image of a skin or the portion of the skin where uh, we find some kind of infection or some kind of a spot. And if we wanted to uh, check whether that spot or infection is leading to you on the cancer side or not, because the skin cancer is nowadays uh, uh, can be seen in almost a uh, variety of uh, people or almost uh, uh, 10 people out of lack. So uh, the skin cancer can, can need to be identified early to treat. So we have created a data set and we have uploaded it on our server. And there is only a testing application is uploaded and uh, there you can have both the functionality where you can upload uh, the image you can take it from your mobile phone and you can upload it or you can have this variable device which can take an image for you now uh, just to take an image we have not made this variable device so this variable device is having various functionalities like it is having oximeter pulse sensor it is having vibration detector it is having tilt sensor uh, then it is having vertigo detector uh, even uh, it is it is having a leveling detector it is having a warning message graph then it is continuously uh, checking your uh, heart rate and suddenly if someone is uh, uh, having a fast heart rate and it can cause a heart attack it can alarm even uh, this watch can be uh, connected uh, to the internet via mobile phone of course it needs to pair with the mobile phone so there are two options to pair with it uh, so one is a bluetooth and another one is a wi-fi so either or the person can choose whether a person wanted to connect through a bluetooth or a wireless 
here we can have option to scan the particular uh, network and connect with it and uh, using a phone's data card or the phone's data uh, it is communicating on our cloud and it is transmitting these information even we can uh, now check uh, how many packets or the monitoring packet it have detected and even it is having a cool clock to uh, show timing date time uh, then day month everything can be shown so it can be wear as a watch and with the help of this watch we can monitor a person's health so uh, taking the target like we wanted to uh, achieve the uh, what we can say uh, imagery uh, to uh, detect whether that is a cancer or not that that we can have and this is the uh, inner circles of this so this is the back panel and this is the front panel so this is not that much of the uh, what we can say uh, packed uh, now because uh, still we have created a, a motherboard of this uh, we have created a pcb and we have integrated some ic's on it and it is having this uh, slot where we can uh, integrate our camera so this camera can be integrated over here and even it is having a press knob uh, to adjust it and off on off switch and then you can wear it like this and you can see uh, your uh, blood pressure the your uh, blood saturation even the blood saturation is it can uh, connect and you can see it properly and what what is the use of this led this is the indication led if it is in a green that means yes okay you are having a good health uh, but when it is uh, going uh, on to color changing that amber and then red that it means that it is warning you something is going wrong with you and uh, maybe your blood pressure or your heart rate is elevated your uh, spo2 means the uh, saturation oxygen saturation is way below than the acceptance ratio then that time it can start alerting you and this is a simple diagram like the one uh, what i have tried to connect with the node mcu with the uh, normal pulse sensor uh, the same we have uh, uh, made it with the uh, max uh, 3100 sensor so this is a very accurate sensor in terms of detecting heartbeat in terms of detecting various uh, signals and out and then we are having a camera to upload the images now i'll just uh, take you on the page so this is the link uh, skin technology.net so i'm having three companies soft data securities which we where we are into information security consulting and providing uh, various solutions uh, to different companies in in the infosec area then we have uh, samartha techno services uh, where we do with the network and cloud infrastructure and alka technology.net where uh, uh, we develop different applications so this application is uploaded on our cloud so this is a uh, uh, right now this is an open application so anyone can go and uh, have a look at on it uh, skin detect .alka technology .net. so we are having a upload affected skin photo button so here you can upload a particular uh, photo like uh, now i am doing it skin photo or i'll type skin spot photo is my screen visible yes sir skin spot spot photo maybe we'll take this one sorry for these disturbing pictures then we can upload it over here now once it is uploaded and uh, once it is trying to connect with our server and uh, then it will give you a result like uh, this image is having uh, 
melanotic navy or melanoma or uh, pigment keratosis at what percent so it can detect that the, these are the three main elements in uh, skin cancer so if these elements are elevated than the 0.3% then it means that it, this kind of a uh, rashes or this kind of a uh, pigmentation or spots can lead you into a different types of a skin cancer so this is the image what we have occurred even the work is still going on we are trying to improve this uh, uh, what, uh, user interface so this is just for a testing so we know what these things uh, mean to uh, but uh, we are trying to apply more uh, uh, data sets on it and more objects to it uh, where we can detect the variety of skin diseases, not only related with the cancer, but we are trying to relate it with the different types of uh, skin diseases as well. So maybe this this can be uh, just a mark or of the mole or something, so it can detect it. Uh, now on behind this, there is a machine learning model which is working on, which is having a pre-determined uh, data sets of the different images and uh, uh, mainly uh, melanotic melanoma and uh, melanin uh, images where uh, we can compare it with and we are comparing it with the actual photo what we are taking and the privacy here it is too optimum like whatever the photo you are uploading it is not getting stored on our server uh, so it is on the fly uh, kind of uh, uh, analysis so only the machine learning model is there and then we are uh, taking up the points only uh, uh, where our model is learning so it is adaptive learning model where we are uh, uploading more and more pictures the more and more uh, our uh, machine is adapting the things like okay this is uh, looks like this or this disease looks like that so depending upon that it is going to learn various things so i uh, have a try on this uh, <clears throat> So, yes, uh, so uh, I'm having now a very bad throat, so I'm uh, barely uh, talk. So I think uh, uh, we are uh, done for the day. And uh, if you are having any questions, please do ask. And very sorry for uh, taking it very early as uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm, I'm struggling to get my voice out. So if you are having any questions, we are open for question answers. Or what I'll do is, meanwhile, I'll just try to upload, uh, say, pulse sensors code into a mega. So let's try out with the mega whether it can capture or not. Or maybe I can test whether my sensor is faulty.
beyond 9600 bird it can capture anything and on the portal side also there is nothing So the ground will go to ground here. They'll see to D one. seems I'm having a faulty sensor I'm not getting anything yeah so are we having any questions or any doubt or anything which we wanted to discuss so I think there are no questions so uh, yes so this is for the day uh, still if you are having any questions then you can uh, put it into a whatsapp group i'll answer them so yes uh, so this is from my side thank you very much for listening me very patiently uh, uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next sessions thank you Thank you, sir.